beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I believe God that everyone is doing great. I trust God that everyone is enjoying God's faithfulness. And we must give God all the praise. Hallelujah. In today's video, my people, I want you to listen to Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuye. And uh, what he has to say concerning this issue that has been making around social media for some time now. The way that uh, the church members will contribute, do all manner of uh, offering, tithe all manner of tithes, and even see the faith and the prophetic uh, offering. And at the end of the day, the ones that are weak in the church, I mean the needies in the church, are not being catered for. And before you know it, they begin to tear ground and begin to build all manner of cathedrals. As if they are going to present cathedral to God Almighty on the last day. Here you will hear Pastor Kumuyi say something concerning this. And I'm so happy that this is coming from him. You are building cathedrals. Have you built the lives that's in your church? Look, at there are many widows in the church and their children are not going to school. And many people, the ones that do not know those ones and how to meet them personally, we bring all manner of offerings in the church and at the end of the day, that money will not affect that offering, that title will not affect the church members. This is not proper. That is not the kind of church that Jesus Christ came to establish for us. But these days now, it's just a, another thing entirely. And we must have to be talking about it so that other churches, other pastors will know that when tithes, tithes especially, when it comes in, people should not go hungry in the church because the purpose is that so that there will be meat in my house. The house of God, there are people that are weak I mean, when I mean weak, I mean the poor. And so this, the tithe and offering in the church should affect the poor. It should affect the needies, the fatherless, the widows in the church. So I thank God that this is coming from Baba Kumuyi, and I'm so grateful to God. Please share this video. Every pastor must hear this. Every church must hear this. Because this is an elder statement. It's not a man that speaks anyhow. When he says something, definitely... That thing, you can take it to the bank. I mean that it's authentic. He knows what he's talking about. So please, give this video a like and share it. And subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Turn on the bell for more notifications. And I'm going to see you in my next one. Please watch. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, then Peter said, Silver and gold abide not but well, thank god today the church was serious now cannot say silver and gold we have none look at all this offering we're collecting this church has silver and gold i learned of a preacher somewhere we're having a their church service and he said now we're going to collect offering if you have 10,000 naira raise up your hand 20,000 raise up your hand 50,000 raise up your hand and they were faithful they raised up their hands 10,000 I can give 20,000 I can give 50,000 I can give. They said, okay, raise up your hand. They raised up their hands. They stood up. They said, now that 10,000, that 20,000, that 50,000, go and give to the poor in your community. Ah, I lost my audience. Praise the Lord. All the offering is not just church. There are poor people around. There are unemployed people around. There are indigent people around. 
but we must build our campground DL, DL, DL ICC I understand we must build we're going to build but what you're building your neighbors are dying your neighbors who do not have anything to feed themselves and your fellow brother your fellow sister has nothing to send children to school will build the LICC deeper life international conference center but will not throw our hands up in the air all the offering we can give we have given to DLICC building and we can now be at ease and allow our members to die of hunger and to be so discouraged because they have nothing and we have the money and what he this church like we used to do in the olden days good old days that we reserve an amount of money aside for charity that will say as we're giving we allocate this amount to the building of DLICC we allocate this amount to building the district church the district church we are building are we not building for people the people we are building for they are dying of hunger malnutrition starvation let's budget end of the year we're coming to the new year let's budget part of the money millions millions of our currency to take care of the people in fact which one comes first let's say your house is leaking and you have your mother dying how will you spend will you first mend the leaky roof or take care of your mother which one will you do first we should give priority to members of our church even those who are not members and we know them and we can contact them silver and gold now we have silver and gold <laughs> you know and sometimes even myself we travel around and as we travel around you know some of the governors and some of the people they appreciate what is happening they say pastor we know you always give everything to the church this one we're giving you directly and so i cannot say honestly silver and gold i have none i have some and i'm not going to give everything to the building of DLICC. I'm looking for those who are hungry. I'm looking for those who are dying. I'm looking for those who are impoverished in their lives. And some of the money will go to them. If you know them, tell your coordinator. Tell your group pastor. Tell the people so that we will not be guilty of giving all the money to a building that will not be raptured when Christ comes. Christ is coming to rapture the church and to rapture the people. Take care of the people. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen.